Hey guys, welcome. I am Damesies from the Omnic Post. And today we're going to take a detailed look at Esperanza, the new map that was added and the release of Overwatch 2. Well, there were actually a few maps that were added. Rio, for instance, I already did a video on that. But this was one that we hadn't played ourselves in the beta. And when I say Esperanza, I mean something else. Because I'm completely butchering the name. The name is uh, in Portuguese and I don't speak Portuguese. And for me, that reads as Esperanza. But when Athena says it, I'm like, wait, what? What map? Oh, sh**. All right. I guess that's the name. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the map. And to be honest, I'm kind of already sold on this map. I've been playing it for a week now. And good God, I personally feel that this is one of the most beautiful maps ever. They seem to kind of raise the bar with every single map they've released. So we definitely have something to look forward to. But we're going to take a look. I made a game in the custom games. Made sure nobody can join us. This is a private party, folks. Welcome to Esperanza. Esperanza. I'm going to pick Lucio because he speaks Portuguese. He can read everything. He can translate stuff for me. And we're just going to roll through this. I have not prepared this. I have not done any research in advance because I'm lazy. No, I just I wanted to kind of discover it with you guys. I just wanted to wing it a little bit. But um, first off, we're in the spawn room of the, the I don't know, the, the one team. <laughs> I don't know which team this is. Uh, since it's a push map. Basically, everybody's attacking. Uh, but you have a nice view over the local village with the, the fortress. This was actually the giveaway. They posted some screenshots or some screenshots popped up on the internet. Of that fortress on top of the hill. And people were like, that's Portugal. I know that one. It's Lisbon. And uh, But we didn't see that wall up till then. This is kind of interesting. There's way more to talk about when it comes to this wall than I am at this point feel kind of um, comfortable doing because I still need to do a lot of research. Something is going on here. Why is there a huge light energy wall basically protecting this little town? It is probably going towards the ocean and um, same there are other European cities, but they don't have these protective measures. What is going on here? Why did they wall off the city? Has the, Have the sea levels risen so high? It is kind of hard to tell. So. I took a small look behind the wall and I'm not going to show you all the footage because yeah, it kind of breaks immersion. I don't think everybody wants to see what I got to see, but behind that wall is actually not the ocean, but the continuation of this river, meaning or this bay rather, meaning that they're blocking it away from something that is not necessarily hidden in the ocean. This is a very beautiful building. It looks kind of like a little monastery. It has that typical Portuguese blue porcelain tile motif going. That was a really long sentence, but you know what I mean. Um, I've been in Porto, not in Lisbon, and I've seen those kinds of things in Porto. It's extremely beautiful. They are known for these um, yeah, tile paintings on porcelain, with the blue paint. It is a, a well-known thing in Portugal. Uh, I do like the, the small details in these rooms. Look at the lighting. Look at the carpet being folded. Because someone clumsy passed by. Was me! Um, then you have uh, like the door uh, frames are extremely detailed, like wood structures. And if you look at these wooden ceilings, it brings a, a nice warm atmosphere, southern atmosphere into this room. They nailed this room. Like this patio. Yeah, nice. But this, you wanna you wanna kind of hang around here. You can almost feel the coolness. That radiates from a room like this in the real world, as it is like 30 or 40 degrees Celsius outside. What is this rooster doing here? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful detail. The vases, uh, a digital clock that is not really digital, or an analog clock that is not really analog. Oh, they're doing this. They continued the whole uh, blue painting motif outside. And then there's a, a three behind that. Just look, those are the types of details that finish it. That is just gorgeous. What's up there? Oh, look at that. Come on, Lucia, you can do it. Lucia, Lucia, come on, buddy. Look at that. I can't get up there, but... There's even moss on the roofs. How? Huh? Why? You would never see this unless you're doing stupid stuff like I'm doing. Anyways, so this is a continuation of what I presume is um, an estate, a mansion, maybe a monastery. It looks a little too fancy to be a monastery. These are the cars that we've seen on other maps. They're based on the old Citroën cars, but this one is new. Look at this. Tiny little bugger. Nah, punched it. Everybody in Japan drives a really small car. As is this one. Oh, yeah. On the other side of the map, there's an interesting robot at work. But Oh, there, there's one of them. We've seen these robots in Rialto. 
So we've seen these at work after the whole incident at Rialto, where almost half of the city got destroyed. When Blackwatch passed by and they killed Antonio uh, in one of the archives missions. They released those archives missions first and the map later. And when the map released, you saw these small differences. And one of the differences were these kind of robots that were repairing everything. So that makes me think that something happened on this map that something did eat repair. Because we've seen these robots. It's not only on this building, because I think they're pretty far ahead with this building. But if you look at this one, there's a... Um, what did you call them? These things that people that repair things climb on. All right. Nailed it. So maybe something happened. Maybe it's just standard wear and tear there are some rich people around here that want to keep everything pristine and beautiful and the inside of this building you can see that they're do, still doing restoration work um this is of course the end point where you push your robot god man this just continues to baffle me how beautiful this is look at this view that wall looks like someone threw smurfs at it all right let's continue small little balcony I want to destroy it somewhere in my head. There's a voice going off like, kill it. But we're not playing right now. So I'm going to respect the barrier and just look over there. See, that building is being restored. I think we've seen everything we need to see in the spawn point. We probably missed some stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a nice little Lucia ramp. Man, this is like, they did this for me. I feel like this is something. A little ramp. A Lucia to jump over. Uh, again, blue. They should like their blue over here. Um, this is a tram again. So uh, for some reason it got derailed. Now sometimes Blizzard will decide to move over some obstacles for convenience. But it would have been very, very strange if this had been in the middle the whole time. It is still drawing current. God knows how. There's the city center, a hotel. Tore. What is Tore? It looks like a harbor or something. Or the tower. Is it pointing at the tower? Museo Martins. That sounds like I'm so butchering this name. Uh, that sounds like something uh, nautical. I don't speak Portuguese, but it looks like the wall has been here for quite a while, and they're celebrating the anniversary of the wall. Martins. I'm not even going to try. People from Brazil or Portugal are going to hate me if I do this, but yeah, some people kind of uh, figured that this might be a hint at a new hero that is kind of tied in with the company that built the wall. Now, I do think. Blizzard would be uh, able to do that, or they would do that. They are cheeky that way. But I don't think everything that they put in this world needs to kind of evolve into a hero. Since, yeah, they love doing world building. The story is more than just heroes, just also the normal people. It gives credibility to the world if you can add random companies. So I've seen it before on other maps where there are companies building or making objects, tools, and... Um, they in no way are affiliated with any of the heroes. Okay, this is a hotel. Another one of the roosters and the vases. This one is really analog. This is really old school. It has a cybernetic arm. Hold this glass of wine. This map confuses the hell out of me because it is looping around in the most impressive way. When I get to the uh, robot at the start of the game, I'm always so confused to where I'll be going. Advertisements for the local city tourist attractions more blue buildings this is kind of interesting this building was built on a rock solid as a rock I, I so wanted to destroy that barrier not going to do it of course there are soccer balls everywhere this is Portugal after all they are well known for their soccer teams again that wood texture makes everything feel so cozy and warm oh in case you're thirsty okay oh what is this? A secret cellar? DR. Doombrist. No? Okay. Never mind. There's a wine cellar. Clearly. And they're selling wine straight from the cellar. I'm completely lost. There's a re Oh, it's a restaurant. What? Where do you sit? That's a wine cellar if I ever saw one. What is this? A guitar shop? No. This is confusing. There's like a, a traditional guitar. I don't know what they're called. Mandolin? Something like that. Oh, look at these um, these aprons. They need to use a little less starch on these aprons. I think you can kill someone with them. This looks lethal. Lethal aprons. I think these are traditional cooking pots. You can stack on each other and you put water into one. And, I don't know. I'm not a, not a chef. Oh, this is the mandolin, the guitar. And another one of the roosters and the clocks. Oh, this is cozy. This is a restaurant. Another pair of mandolins. I guess the name of this restaurant is two mandolins. Something like that. If I had to take a guess. Portuguese is one of the languages that you 
you can think you know what it means you can read it and think oh uh, it looks like uh close enough to my own language looks like it could be that that is completely different there are so little words i recognize in portuguese next up yeah i think this is going to be another wine place yep this is a little more classy than the other one listen to this music it's gorgeous little places to sit i love this level of detail you know at some point i hope in pve but i don't think they will add like npcs to this make this a living world have people sitting on these chairs eating these what i presume are lemon cakes or uh, i don't know mango cakes and just enjoying the weather hey buddy how you doing yeah i'm not going to be moving you today so i don't know maybe you can sit down no fine you just stand there cafe carvela oh that is a fancy looking camera it looks ancient and um these actually looks like little uh rice cakes yeah that's what we would call them a little burned oh bread of some bread bakery clearly there's all kind of pastries oh man they look so good croissant okay the only thing i can hear now is surgeon going croissant croissant i need to talk to some people in my community because they spam those voice lines a little too much a laptop nothing is happening like i said it would be so awesome if just there would be npcs sitting here you can't do it in pvp because well i mean you could treat them the same way they do with pigeons and just make him out of concrete so you can't kill him i guess this is the central tower that they were referring to but look at that that's a beautiful tower compliments for your tower not a bakery well every town needs a few bakeries i think these guys are not doing that well though they still have a lot of stuff in stock on the other hand, they're still baking. So this is kind of the whole blue side of town. With the Portuguese flag flying over it. And if you want any leaflets, they're right there. So yeah, this is the higher ground. As the enemy approaches this way. And around this point is where you start out, basically. You saw the robot standing there. So this is the uh, blue barrier. There's the red barrier. This is the red side of town. And you can immediately see that the colors on the walls change. I have to say, I do like the red a little better than the blue. It feels less like it feels a little less like a smurf just puked all over the place. Um, and you basically have a copy of the other side. So you have those same kind of corners, twists, but different uh, establishments like lobster. You have restaurants, one cozy than the other. Oh, look at this. This is another reference to a French car, the chevaux. We call them the goat in Belgium. I don't think they call them the goat everywhere. I don't know why we called it the goat. <laughs> It doesn't look like a goat at all, to be honest. This is a little hotel. Another one of these drinking fountains. Another wine cellar. Really? The only thing people do over here is eat bread, drink wine, and drive cars. Oh, and bikes. Yeah, we've seen these bikes on Rio. These are very imaginative bikes. I don't even know how this would work. I mean, there are bikes that kind of look like this, but those are really expensive. These are the things you break your foot on. I love the tiling. We saw the same kind of tiling in Rio, right? So yeah, you basically get the same pattern going here on the red side. Again, the, the tram that got derailed. Just a little uh, different dressing, but well, set dressing, not dressing dressing. I mean, it's not it's not a salad. It's a, and now we're back. Oh, this is the robot I was talking about. See, he's repairing everything down here. I love how the uh, he has the uh, pattern, the blue porcelain pattern on its uh, paint head, I guess. Is it slowly turning everything blue down here? Is this Blizzard admitting that they favor the blue side? I don't think so. And you have that same building. With that same cozy... Oh, I can't get in, of course, because I'm on the opposing team. I'm on the blue team. But yeah, it looks the same inside as it does on the other side. And it replaced the little car with the, uh, the chevaux. That's about it. It's just a copy. They just mirrored it. I think maybe even including the little pathway with the tree at the end. See? There we go. <laughs> just the textures are different. Less of the blue uh, porcelain tiling and more of the uh, old drywall, more the simple structures. But again, extremely beautiful. Look at the details of the leaves falling down. This is just gorgeous. And the sounds just kind of completed. You hear bells ringing, you hear birds chirping, people talking. And like I said in my uh, at the start of this video, they are raising the bar with every single map that they release. The level of detail, the ambience, it almost feels like a living city except there's no people you can hear them and you can almost feel them but they're not there and i really really hope they do something with that in pve um we'll see 
All right up here it is something special this is the company that built the wall kind of showing off the tiles that they used and uh, uh model of that wall uh, if i would speak portuguese i would know what it means exactly what the purpose is but uh these are the martins i guess um either brothers or a couple and the wall was built by the collective and i have to say the collective sounds like something that you could use to spawn a hero out of but i think right now when it comes to organizations we're kind of set who knows what the future will bring of course and like i said i feel like something might have happened here and they're still kind of fixing everything. The wall is here to protect them now. They feel a lot safer. On the other hand, judging by some of the posters I've seen, this wall has been around for quite a while. It looks pretty new though. I guess we'll find out in the months and years to come what is up with this wall, what is up with this map. We'll probably see some PvE action around here somewhere. And uh, if we do, I'll let you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this map. Make sure to check out the video I did on the Rio map and I'll, I'll try to do videos, similar videos for the other maps where we kind of try to take in the details. Because once you're playing the game and you're rolling around on these maps trying to get the robot from your side to the other side, you don't really pay attention to those small details. They are there and occasionally something will draw your eye. But in general, you're just trying to survive, trying to hit the objective and then the game ends and you don't have time anymore to look over everything. I hope this helped a little bit. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.